Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to break down how I used Blender to turn my workplace into a coffee bar and lounge. To begin with, I recorded some simple footage of the building I work in. I used a high shutter speed somewhere around 180 to 200 to prevent motion blur. I also moved slowly and tried to keep the camera as steady as possible so that I would have an easier time motion tracking the footage. A gimbal would have been really nice, but I did this freehand without image stabilization. After that, I took a 360 photo from the middle of the parking lot. I used Photoshop to make five copies of the picture with different exposures, then merged them all into an HDR, which I saved as a Radiance file format. I used this file as an HDRI for lighting my scene in Blender. Next, I used Blender to convert my video into a PNG image sequence. Then I used the image sequence to motion track the footage. Once the camera motion was solved and a scene was set up, I added the HDRI. Then I aligned the shadow catcher plane with the wall of the building and modeled some ridges into it to match the corrugated steel. After that, I modeled a sign and aligned it with the shadow catcher. Then I used the compositor workspace to denoise the sign and the shadows and also adjusted the shadows from the sign to match the shadows in the video. Here's the compositing setup that I used. Then I rendered all of this out together as another image sequence and finally converted the new image sequence back into video. Next, I made another HDRI of the inside of the building. The remaining sequences are full CG scenes, but I wanted the HDRI lighting so that the scenes would still feel familiar even though they're completely made up fictional spaces. As I was moving things around, I noticed that a lot of the downloaded assets needed additional work with the meshes and UV maps. In some cases, I deleted textures completely and added new PBR materials. Even though I had to do some extra work, overall downloading the assets still saved me a lot of time from having to make the assets myself. I also made sure to create a framed picture to match the sign on the outside of the building and this helped tie all of my scenes together. In the past, when I've rendered full CG scenes like this, I would have to set the samples really high, resulting in really long render times. And even then, with the compositor denoiser, there would still be some grainy noise and flickering. So, for this project, I searched and found a couple of techniques that made a huge difference. The first thing I did was set up multi-pass denoising. This is the node setup that I used, and I rendered this out as an image sequence using the OpenEXR multi-layer format. I also turned off motion blur and enabled the vector pass, which I used in the next step. So for the next step, I opened a new project and set it up for median temporal denoising. In the compositor workspace, I used the image node to add my EXR image sequence. Then I duplicated it two times. On the second and third copies, I offset the frames I displaced one sequence by plus one and displaced the other sequence by minus one. Then I connected everything the way that you see it here. Finally, I rendered this out as video and I followed this process for each of my CG scenes. If you would like more details on this denoising process, I recommend checking out this video. He goes into much more detail about how and why this works so well. I'll also put a link in the description. He has a template with this already set up in a blend file and it's out there if you want it. After I had each video clip finished and rendered, I put them together in Premiere and this is the result. I hope you were able to get something useful from this breakdown. Please consider subscribing to support the channel. Likes and comments are welcome as well, and have a great day.